a low impact weights workout. You've got 12 exercises, you're going to do them twice. It's about 26 minutes, so it's under half an hour, but it is a superb workout and you will sweat, but it's brilliant for strength. So there's one strength exercise, one cardio, one strength, one cardio, goes all the way through like that. The strength exercise you'll do for one minute and the cardio you'll only do for 30 seconds. And you'll be very grateful that it's low impact, trust me. Aaron's here to push us through it. And in the 30 second rest, which you'll get in between each exercise, I will show you uh, a little demonstration about what's coming next. So don't forget to warm up, make sure you've got a towel, a pair of weights, I've got fours there, so I'll need those for the first exercise. And we're gonna give you teaching points all the way through. So first at one, we're gonna do squat and a shoulder press. Have a look first. So it's all the way down and you press out of your squat, okay? So we're gonna do this for one minute. You wanna aim for around 15 to 18 reps. So we set, fast, not fast. let's go. Nice and controlled and press up. So don't go too quick. If you're getting 20 plus, you're probably going too fast. You just want to take your time, focus on your technique, keep your chest up, be strict with both movements, the squat and the press. And get nice and low in your squats. If you struggle with both uh, weights over your head, then just do one at a time like that. Like that, that's fine. Yeah, you're halfway through. You don't have got to worry about how many reps you're doing. Don't count them, you just don't want to be doing too many because you want to make sure that you're keeping the muscle under contraction. Squeeze yes. up. Yes, muscles under contraction Roll all the time. time. <laughs> 20 seconds to go. 15. Breathe in, that hold goes, all the way down. That takes a long time to get through that minute, doesn't it? <laughs> Five seconds. And rest, good. So just shake your arms off, shake your legs off. Next one we're gonna do is a floor tap. Which is this. And it'll be 30 seconds of this, okay? So we get a nice decent amount of rest now. So if you feel that you don't want to do it with a little bit of a impact in it, that's not really impact, it's just a little hop, skip and a jump, then you just walk it out like that. But try and aim for the floor. Five seconds, get ready. Let's go, now, tap and drive, drive the leg out, so we're going to get the heart rate and the speed up now, so you've Come on. done your strength work, now you're getting some pace up, first 10 seconds done, drive that leg out, drive that leg out, drive that leg out, touch down the middle, touch straight lines, if you can't reach the floor, make the move towards the floor, we're in last 10 now, we're in last Come 10, on. can you go, can you go, can you go, nice and quick, 5 seconds left, Keep it going, keep your tempo, keep your pace, and rest. Just rest it. Well done. Grab your weights again. It's going to be a reverse lunge and a bicep curl. So have a look what these are. So this is a reverse lunge. You're going to add a bicep curl to it. So we've got 15 seconds to go. You'll be puffing, it's fine. Just take your time with these again. So you're slowing the tempo down, nice big stride in the lungs, move all the way down, curl the biceps up at the top. Let's go now. You want to get some teaching points on the biceps. Breathe now. in, breathe out when you squeeze up. Focus on getting your knee all the way down in the lungs, keeping your shoulder blades back. So shoulder blades back, elbows nice and tight, and squeeze your biceps at the top. Squeeze your biceps. Give them a little tense at the top. And then straighten them all the way down. Don't leave them there. Get them there. You want to get full extension in your arms. I'm not everything actually when you're doing strength work. The full extension down and then all the way up. So you're really stretching the bicep and then squeezing it up at the top. Nice big stride at the back. The feel is in your glutes and your quads. You're pushing up through your front leg, waist through your There's a lot going on here. 15 seconds to go. You're using different muscle groups at the same time, so we'll get that heart rate up slightly. Yeah, because it's lower and up at the same time. Five seconds, a few more reps, remember the tense, remember the Ooh. tense. And rest. Good, put them down, and side shuffles. So you get a decent amount of rest in between these now. So have a look what we're doing next. 
Good. That's it. That. Touch. So if you think, oh, that's too fast for me, you just walk it, but make sure you aim and touch the floor. Because that's one of the, what's going to get your heart rate up. 10 seconds, rest to go. Try and be quite quick if you can. Really drive that body across. So you need to brace your abdominals so they support you as you're ready. moving quickly. Let's go. Now, get across. And tap, and back again. And tap, and back again. Come on! That's it, this is a pace up now. It's all about your speed. It's all about pace. First 10 seconds done, it's 30 seconds we're doing. Tap down and drive across. Tap down and drive across. Tap down and drive across. Woo! Come on. Keep that pace up, 10 seconds to go. You keep, keep that pace, up. come on. Not slowing down now, last five seconds. Keep your pace up, keep your speed up, and rest. <sighs> Chest flies. Okay, now just make sure I sit at a right angle here. You need your dumbbells. We're in your weight. Okay, one and a half, is it? Just squeeze in, no. Just normal. Just one all the way down. Half rep and squeeze in. Oh, this is one and a half. Yeah, half rep, squeeze in. Go 30 seconds rest. And rest the half so rep a half on the bottom. And then push it up. Let's go. Now. So all the way down, over the chest up, half rep in and then squeeze. squeeze. All the way up, half rep and then squeeze. Once you've got that, you've got to focus on keeping your hands in line with your chest, okay? Don't let them go anywhere near your head. You don't want to be squeezing up here. It's through your chest. Think about your pecs, squeezing them in. Big stretch out, half rep, squeeze in. Come on, we want nice firm pecs. Halfway through, squeeze that chest. Squeeze through your chest, all in there. Big breath in. You breathe out when you squeeze in. Don't let the weights bang together so you're not clapping them in. You're in control. You're not Ooh. throwing them up. You're in control on the way in. 10 seconds. Keep them in line with your chest. They're going to move around a little bit. Rotator cuff's going to get tired. A few minutes, a long time, isn't it? A few more reps. Well, that's a treat. Good rest. Oh! Walking burpees with a kick. Oh, these are our favourites. Okay. Walking burpee, hands down, out, out, in, in. And then we're going to add two, uh, uh, kick. Yeah, with a bit of luck, you get your trainer in the face. So, are you ready? We've got 10 seconds. So, know what you're doing. If you want to grab a drink, grab a quick drink. So, if you want to do a proper burpee, it's Five, this. Four, three, up to you. Two, let's go. Come on. Legs up, legs in, up, kick. Kick straight back down. As soon as you do that second kick, go straight into your next burpee. Down, legs up, legs up, legs in, legs in, up. Good, it's the walking part that makes it low impact, okay? If you can do the burpee, then give it a go, give it a full one, doesn't matter. Legs up, legs in, up, kick, kick. Come on, 10 seconds to go, legs up, legs in. Big kick for us, big kicks for us, come on. Big kicks, get them feet up. Get them feet up. A few more seconds, a few more seconds. And rest. Good. One and a half sumos. So remember the pulse that we've done on the flies, we're going to do these into a sumo squat. So this is a sumo squat. Toes turned out. That's a sumo squat. We're doing a one and a half, which is down, little pulse, push up. I'm going to keep doing that. <laughs> Ten seconds to go. Grab your dumbbells. Get ready. Let's go in three, two, and go. So all the way down, half rep, and then all the way up. Make sure that your knees track your toes. As your legs get tired, or if you've got tight quads or glutes or adductors, your knees might turn in slightly. Try and keep it in line with your toes. So there's lots of emphasis on strength work in this workout, and that's good because a whole minute of it makes you quite puffed because you're using a lot of big muscle groups. And then you have to round it all off with a 30 seconds of cardio. So it's perfect. The burning fat. For the 35 seconds. All exercise burns fat. Breathe in, squeeze up. Try and make sure you squeeze through your heels as well. Not only start pushing through your toes. Bottom. 15 seconds to go. Oh, 
feel it in my bottom of my legs. Sumo is a brilliant pit. Your adductors <gasps> right at the oh. top of the glute. Right in here. Good. Oh. Two seconds. Rest. Oh. Double okay. side step. Taps. Have a little game for the one. You have 30 seconds. You're only 30 seconds rest. Okay. With a bit of luck, you can lash out and get your training and then shins. I'm good, I'm good at getting out of the way. Double side step is this. I know, it looks really harmless, it isn't. So it's double side step, then you do a lunge and a tap with the hand. We're going in five. And so it's ready. And go. So we get across, reverse lunge, tap, and tap. Just try and touch that floor. I'm going to get back across. Touch the floor in front of you. Get that leg as far away from you as you can. Really shoot that back Think leg back out. Depth. And go. Tap. Tap. Drive across. Tap. Tap. Try and get your pace up. A little bit, a little bit quicker. Go. 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 Speed up. Speed up. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Get back across. Go again. Go again. Go again. Last five. Get another couple out. Come on. Can you get another one? Three. Two. And rest those out. Rest them out. Well done. That's a bit, don't we? We've got rows with a tricep extension. Okay, this is your upper back and your triceps. Okay, if you have a lower, weak lower back, you can sit on a chair and do it. So it saves your lower back. Otherwise, your knees are bent. You're going to row, extend, back, down. Pull your elbows in. Five seconds. Extend, back, down. Three, two, let's go. Spreading your arms out. Don't throw the weights around. Don't swing them, be in control. When you pull the weights up, you're squeezing your shoulder blades together. They stay nice and tight. Elbows are above the line of your back. And then you straighten your arms out and bring them back in. Remember, it's a minute of these, so you don't want to be doing loads. You're going to be able to do loads. If you feel it in your lower back, if your lower back starts to hurt, just stand up, break out of it for a second, and then go back into it. It might be your triceps that go as well. You might have to take five seconds. It's fine if you need to. Keep that chest up, nice straight back. Okay, you need to have a straight back. It's yeah. really important. Don't do it around the back. Don't like start that. rounding now. Get that chest up, get that head up. We've got 10 seconds to go. So maybe another two or three reps. Straighten those arms up. Try and get your elbows above the line of your back. Five seconds. Give us another rep. Fantastic work, just rest it out there. Oh. Oblique climbers now. So an oblique mountain climber. Okay, this is where you need to have your start off in the press up position. And you drive your knees. Now, if you're going to do it slowly, if you prefer to do it slowly, you just aim that knee to the opposite wrist. Otherwise, it's that for 30 seconds. And you will feel hot because your face is hanging Five. down. You'll sweat. Press up position and climbers go. Unless you're twisting your hips. There's a little twist in there. It's left knee to right elbow, right knee to left elbow. Don't let your front foot touch the floor. Get it off the floor. Keep your hips down. So don't stick your bum up. Hips low, front foot doesn't touch the floor. 30 seconds. How much pace have you got? Come on! How much pace have you got left? 10 seconds now. Come on. Can you go? Can you go? Can you go? Can you go? Real quick. Real pacey. Real push, five seconds, keep your speed, keep your speed, keep your speed, rest. Well done, good. Okay, you've got two more exercises to do, we've done the first round. Then we have a minute's rest and we'll do the whole thing again. Don't be tempted to wander off. Tuck crunches. Okay, I'm going to show you the hardest version, which is both legs. And you can keep them off the floor, or you can put them on the floor. Obviously, keeping them off the floor is harder, or you can do a single leg. Five, like that. Three, it's nice being on two, the floor. Go. Straighten those legs out. If you're keeping your feet off the floor, when you straighten them, get them as close to the floor as you can, but without touching. The top half, your shoulder blades come up, and you contract your abs by breathing out. I forgot it was a minute. I was going to say, you stop like a train, you want to slow down. <laughs> Very minute. That's only 20 seconds done. Remember, you can go into singles like that. 
Just let the other right side. So you feel them in your back. If you need to take two or three seconds, just pause. Count to three. And then back in again. Focus on your technique. Don't try to do thousands of reps of these. Just focus. Bring your knees in. Crunch your abs. Don't just nod your head. Get your shoulders off. Come on! We're nearly inside the last 10 seconds now. 10 seconds to go. Last five. Come on, give me another two. Give us another two. Give us another two. Three. And rest. A snap, an extra second rest there. Did you see that? I'm getting that back, don't worry about that. A wide toe taps wide is, toe the taps. is the next one, and that's our last one. On your feet? Of the 12. And you have to just go, come on, legs, work. And it goes like this. That's all. Hips down. And it's harmless, and it isn't. 10 seconds. Up, t shirt down. Five seconds. Get ready. Bend those hips. Three. Keep yourselves talking to you. Come on. One, go! 30 seconds. Da, 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 da. Real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. 30 ah. seconds. Do the 30 seconds. Keep tapping those toes. Make sure those feet come off the floor. We'll hear some noise. Come on. Make some noise. Make some noise. Better. Tap them feet. Tap them feet. 15 seconds. We're halfway through. Oh no, is that tap, all? Tap, 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 tap. Keep your hips down. Don't strain those legs. You're going to want to. Keep those hips bent. Keep those quads under tension. Five. Go five, go five, go five, go five. Three, two, and rest. <sighs> okay, Good. you get a minute's rest. You'll see a little timer up here. That's what you're allowed. And then you come back and start again with squats and shoulder press. Seconds rest. Oh. So don't wander off, stay with us. We'll do a little dance, entertain you in that. In fact, no, we won't. Time still going. We've got 20 seconds rest. I'll just show you again. It's like we're going back into our squats and shoulder press. So remember, if your neck starts to ache, if you're not used to lifting weights, just do one at a time and then drop, drop down. 10 to seconds. The other one. Toes facing forward in these squats, okay? Normal squats. Squat and press in three, two, one, let's go. Squat and press. Good. The slow tempo, 15, 18 reps, roughly about that many. If you want to count the reps, you can, but we're going for a minute. Breathe in, nice deep squat. Focus your technique, the squat through your heels. Press up at the top, retract your shoulder blade, let the weights come down to your shoulders, and then back down through your heels, back up again. It's nice, smooth, Try to the elbows around fluid here. movements. Pull your shoulder blade back. We've got still got 20 seconds to go, so you've still got another. He's not helping, is he, by the six reps. Like that. <laughs> 15. Now it goes quicker when you get to the second 30. 10 seconds, a couple more reps, maybe two or three. Maybe two or three. Plus five. Fantastic work. Just rest it out there. Floor taps. So 30 seconds rest. Floor taps. And we're touching straight down, driving that leg out. I'll show you them again quickly. Come on, we've got fire in our belly now. See, it's not impact, we're not uh, stamping through. Light so you can, Yeah, you can keep light and you can go fast and you'll still get a heart rate. 10 seconds, get ready. Oh, we like these. You ready? No, we don't. Yeah, we do. You yeah. like them. <laughs> Five. Now it's watching our supper. Three, two, let's go. Oh, shoot that leg out. Shoot that leg out. Try and get that leg while you're pushing away as far away from your body as you can. And touch straight lines. 30 seconds we're doing. Go on, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Fantastic work. Well over halfway. Well over halfway. Nearly inside the last 10 seconds now. Come on! Keep your pace up. Don't slow down now. Don't slow down. Come on, can you push? Can you push a little bit more? Five no. seconds. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And rest. Reverse lunges, bicep curls. It's quite difficult this one because you've got a lot going on, okay? The reverse lunges are tough. You've got 
focus on keeping your back straight, shoulder blades back and down. So there is a lot going on. Let's show you them. Full extension, so extend that arm properly. Nice deep lunge. And again, it doesn't have to be fast. Get ready. Let's go in three, two, and go. Slow the tempo right the way down. If you find that your coordination is off a little bit, do your lunge and then come. Okay, but you're still doing both. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in at the top. Come Keep on. that core tight as well now, okay? Tense those abs, shoulder blades back and down. Full extension to the bottom, but just do these little movements here, all the way down. Stretch that bicep, squeeze that bicep. Come Give on. it a, give it a little tense at the top. Lovely people. Nice big stride at the back. Don't forget about your lunge. Be strict with your lunge. Waves through your front heel. Got 20 seconds left. Maybe 10, 12 reps. Just slowing them down. See, so you listen to my puffing. That's <laughs> completely normal, don't worry. You should be. You should be puffing. 10 seconds. Good work, this. Five to go. That minute has gone on for ages. It's gone on for exactly one minute now. <laughs> okay. Side shot. Next. These are these, remember? And these are sharp, so they're not side steps, we did those before. So they so you stay low and the little tiny movements. Real quick, real quick, real quick. 15 seconds. You'll still be puffing after your lunges, and that's fine. So if you want to walk it, walk it, but do the absolute best you can. Don't cut corners, don't kid yourself. Three, pointless. two, one. Come on. Let's go. Get across, tap, drive across. Real quick, quick, come on, real quick. And you get 30 seconds rest in between. So come on! You're getting a lot of rest, you should be able to really go. Really try and push. 30 seconds we're doing. Tap and go again. Okay, get across, get across, get across, get across, get across, real quick. Short little shuffles. And it's not side steps, we're going quick, this is pace. It's all about pace, 10 seconds. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Five seconds, keep it going. Don't stop at the five. Come on! And rest. Oh. Good. Grab those weights. We're going to do chest next. So we're doing our flies. Stretching out. He's on the in. floor, eh? Okay, we'll show you those again. Just grab a drink if you need it. We'll just show you the one and a halves. So we say it's that pulse wrap. All the way up, little pulse, and squeeze in. Have a look. Good. 10 seconds. So don't curl them in too much. Five. Don't make it about the biceps, Four. make it about the pecs here. Three, two, let's go, squeeze in. So, all the way in, breathe in, little half rep, only half a rep, and then squeeze. Think about where you're squeezing from. So you're bringing your hands into the midline of your chest, so you're squeezing your pecs together. Don't throw the weight up. If you find that the weights are banging together, you're probably throwing them too quick. Be in control, tense. Should we switch him off a bit? Nah. <laughs> nah, keep going. You keep going. Oh! Squeeze that chest. But what is this? It's right. Bring it over your chest, not your face. Then you're hitting the right spot. Great reps. Really good reps. You should be able to tense your chest. Just like you did with yeah. the biceps earlier. Tense, tense your abs. Squeeze it. Keep everything tight. 15 seconds to go. Fantastic work, this. Well done. See, a minute really makes inroads into your muscles, you get fatigued. Last five, can you give us another rep? Oh. Oh. And rest, great work, oh. great work. Walk in bad knees with the kicks. Make sure you get them weights out of the way. Favourites. Don't want anyone landing on the dumbbells. Have so, hands down, walk out, out, in, in, kick, kick. And you can shout, do a war cry. If you want to do a proper burpee, 10 seconds. You can do that and then do two kicks, but this is low impact, so One, I'm four, doing a low impact burpee. Three, two, Come on. and go. Legs up, legs in, stand up, kick, 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 go again. Remember, as soon as you've got that second kick, you're straight down. Don't think of it as a little pause so you can take a second to rest and go back into it. It's constant movement up, kick, kick, down, legs up. Legs in, bring them back in, stand up, kick kick, kick. Let's go again. 10 seconds, come on, need a few more for you. Need a few more, a few more, a few more to go. Five, 
Five seconds now. Give us another one. You'll get another one out. All the way down. Come on, you keep going. Three. Come on. Two. Good. Rest it out. Fantastic work. Well done. It doesn't look much, but there is Really nice good. Thing. One and a half sumos. It's the same that pulse rep that we've done with the chest. We do it with a sumo. Toes out. So, toes turned out. Good work. Get low. Little pulse. Back up. So don't be tempted to do a little pulse here. It's pointless. Get all the way down. Pulse back up. Push all right, seconds. Pose. Three. Terrific. Two. Let's go. All the way down. Pulse rep and squeeze up. Slow the tempo. We're doing this for a minute. So don't go and stay with me all the timing. That's ten seconds. It's nice and controlled. Sweat's pouring off me now. The length of your legs will determine how wide you have them, really. <laughs> you want them to be outside your shoulder width. Mine are very wide. <laughs> <laughs> <Or mine. laughs> we have the short legs. <laughs> That's halfway through. So now, as you start to get tired, now your technique might start to go a little bit. So you've really got to focus on your technique. Keep your core tight, keep your chest up. Just keep doing it. Stay in control. If you need to bring the weights in front of you, that's fine, but stay up with shoulder blades back. We're nearly inside the last 10. So another two, three, or four reps to go. Push through those heels. Fantastic strength like this. Five seconds to go. Another rep. Well done, let's rest it out. Well done, people. Double side step, lunge and tap. I have a little wipe so I don't skid on my own sweat. Okay, I hate these. I love them, but they're brilliant, but they're difficult to do fast. So, down, it's all about the hamstrings, that's the back of your thigh. Less than 10 seconds, rest. That. Okay, five, get ready, let's come back. <coughs> Have a drink. Come on. Remember that little dip in the middle. Let's go, now. So you're not doing a reverse lunge as such, you're trying to drive that leg right out to really activate those glutes and you're reaching forward, touching the floor, keep your back straight, and shoot that back leg out. Bang. Good. Keep going. Try and go quick. Come on. You've got to try and go as quick as you can. You've got to try and go as quick as you can. Keep Less than 10 seconds down. Keep the depth. Keep going. All the way down. Five seconds to go. Keep pushing through. You'll get another one in. You'll get another one in. Three, two, and rest. So you're doing those lunges and all those deep gliding squatty things, you just use your legs and that's tough. Okay. Rows Roll. and triceps now. <laughs> the row with the tricep extension or kickback and the elbows up. We'll show you again just quickly. So we've only got 10 seconds rest. Retract your shoulder blades. Really important. You Five struggle seconds. struggle doing both arms together. Three. You do one. Two. Let's go. Pull in. Extend. Release. And relax. Good. Slow the tempo. Full minute. Okay? Full minute. If you feel it in your back, you stand up. Take a second. And then go back again. You've got to have to keep your core tight. Okay? You're going to have to keep that core tight. Don't round your upper back. Pull, extend, fantastic. All the way down and go again. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Control your breathing. So you breathe in, breathe out, and you contract the muscle. We've got 20 seconds to go. Sweat pouring off your face, it's mine. <laughs> you should be tired. 15 seconds. Squeeze, extend, release. Go again, squeeze, extend, come on, 10 seconds. Few more reps, few more reps. Keep that chest up, keep that head still. Ah. One more rep, one more rep. And rest, good. Oh. Well done, well done, 30 seconds. Oblique climbers, okay? Oblique climbers, this is where I get my second back that she stole earlier. So I decided. When you have your face hanging down, like you did then in your row, your face, you'll, you'll sweat more. Don't worry about it. 15 Just seconds. Oblique climbers, shall we twist? We just wipe that sweat off. Some on the floor. Yeah. Ten seconds, okay? Right knee to left elbow, left knee to right elbow. Get ready. Press Get up. ready! Two, one, go! 
Come on, let's go. 30 seconds. What we got? What we got? What we got? How much pace have you got? Try and start quick. If you start slow, you'll never speed up. So just try and start as quick as you can. Don't hold back. Try not to have your bum in the air. First 10 seconds done. Don't let your front foot touch the floor. Get that front foot off the floor. Get your hips down. Over halfway. Well over halfway. 10 to go. 10 to go. 10 to go. Come, come, go. Come, go. Come, go. Come, go. Come, go. Really push. Really push. Nearly inside the last five. Now we go. 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 Keep going to the end. To the end. To the end. Rest. Great work. You think that's not oh, much no. because you're on the floor. No. It's horrible. Okay. Tuck crunches now. Two exercises to go, then you're free of this workout. It's a minute, so don't start quick on these. Take your time, you bring your knees into your chest, crunch it up. Okay, here we go. Double tuck crunch is this. You can put the feet on. Or Five off, seconds. Or you do single like that. Up to you. Three. And go. Slow then. Really slow. Breathe out when you bring your knees into your chest and your shoulder blades off the floor. You have to get that breathing right if you want to contract your abs properly. Squeeze them in. If you're still doing it two feet off the floor, try and get those heels as close to the floor as you can. You can do them with two feet and put them down, that's fine. Or you can do the single leg. We're 30 seconds in, so you might get another 10, 12 reps maybe. Don't just nod your head now. As you get tired, don't nod your head. Get oh, those shoulder blades up. Nod my head. <laughs> 20 seconds. Get those shoulder blades up. You might feel it in your neck a little bit. That's where your head is moving. You're holding your head up. We're nearly inside the last 10 seconds. It's a couple more reps. Come on, squeeze Woo! them in. Come on, squeeze them in. Come on, squeeze them in. Squeeze them in. Long as you can. Uh. Squeeze in and rest. Great work. Last one. Last exercise. It's our wide toe taps. It's where we have to inject our legs with something to make sure they work properly. On your feet. Grab a drink if you need it. Make sure you're ready to start. On the 30 seconds, we're gonna finish strong. Okay, we're gonna finish strong. I'll just show you the toe taps again. Like that. Tappy, tappy, tap. He makes them sound all fluffy and nice, but they're not. Three, two, hips down, tap, go. Come on. What have you got? What have you got? What have you got left? What have you got left? Loads of pace, loads of reps, loads of taps, loads of noise. Keep your heels on the floor. If it wobbles, don't worry. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that now. Come on! Keep going. Keep tapping. Keep your pace. Keep your pace. Oh. Don't stop. Don't you dare stop. Don't you dare stop. Go through it. Get through it. Get through it. Come on! Ten seconds now. Can you go for the last ten? Come on, push for us now. Come on, really push. Really push. Really push. Five seconds all the way to the end. No one stops. No one stops. No one stops. All the way to the end and rest. Yes, yes, yes. Well done. That was an amazing workout for the whole body that you have just completed. Well done. Now you've got to cool down, stretch, follow one of our little links, and eat something good. Drink loads. Thank you, Alan, very much. Well done, everybody. See you again soon.